Hello everybody, good afternoon. I hope all of you feel better. I am Dr. Rizwan. Today's the webinar organized by World Physiotherapy Organization. The webinar is on the physiotherapy management of Parkinson's disease. Some points I clear to you. I'm conducting to webinar my own way. I know it's verbally suitable, but I make a slides behind a reason. Many people have internet issue, so they can't hear proper or any other issues. So that's the reason behind to make a slides. If somebody can't hear, then they can watch and clear the points. So I make a slide. It's my own way to conduct the webinar. So now we start the our webinar. The, the physiotherapy management of Parkinson's disease. Now the first describe the Parkinson disease. I know you already noticed that Parkinson's patient has some points to clear you. Parkinson disease is the second commonest neurodegenerative disease, exceeded only by Alzheimer's disease. Disruption in daily functions, roles, activities, and depression is common with Parkinson's disease. You link us this picture has some points to describe the Parkinson's. It's two posture, rigidity, flex, elbow, wrist, mass pressure, forward tilt of trying, reduce arm swing. The Parkinson's disease is a disorder of the do dopamine. The slow rate of progression. The Parkinson's disease is a chronic progressive disease. Parkinsonism is used to refer to a group of disorders that produce abnormalities of basal ganglia function. The Parkinson's patients, have you noticed that? In walking with short steps. Clinical Parkinson's disease characterized by rigidity, bradykinesia, rest tremor, gait impairment. These are known as the cardinal features of the disease. Now to describe the cardinal features. The first describe the rigidity. It is felt uniformly in both agonist and antagonist. The spinal stretch reflexes are normal. Both cogwheel and leaf pipe rigidity are found in Parkinson's patient. Rigidity is fairly constant regardless of the task, amplitude, or the speed of the movement. Rigidity and trend, trembling of head. Rigidity and trembling of extremities. That affects the shoulders neck first and later involves muscles of the face and extremities. Prolonged rigidity result in contraction and postural deformity. So we have to prevent this activity. Now the second one is the bradykinesia. 
slowness of movement ekane ekane is refer to absence of movement disturbance in attention and depression can add echinacea movements of freezing may occur and are characterized as sudden break or block in movement have you noticed the slowness of movement in picture now tremor tremor is the initial symptom of parkinson disease is about 70% of the patient it's a initial symptom resting tremor involuntary oscillation of body part occurring at a slow frequency of 4 to 6 hertz pill rolling of head seen in form of forearm jaw or tongue tremor on head and trunk postural tremor as a suggestion showing the parkinson patient sketch reduced stride then speed of walking insufficient heel stride with four foot loading reduced trunk rotation and arm swing fascinating gait freezing of gait increased double limb support time insufficient hip knee and ankle flexion shuffling steps difficulty running difficulty with dual tasking difficulty with attentional demands now the question arises what can be the done help parkinson suffer the pharmacological intervention in parkinson disease the non pharmacological intervention in parkinson disease the surgical treatments in parkinson disease now the first describe the goals of management maintain the function avoid drug induced complications here is a radicanesia tremor rigidity abnormal posture response early in the Ill illness but cognitive symptoms hypophonia autonomic dysfunction balance difficulties response poor way now the pharmacological management now the pharmacological management of parkinson disease neuroprotective therapy it's include monoamine oxidase inhibitors septomatic therapy levodopa l dopa is the ministry of septomatic treatment for the parkinson disease dopamine agonist and choline energetic agents the third one is the pharmacologically nutritional management a high protein diet can blow the effectiveness of l dopa thus the patients are advised to high calorie low protein diet the parkinson patient should have to in diet high calorie and low protein diet non pharmacological management of parkinson disease has a main role of physiotherapist rehabilitation it includes rehabilitation and diet in rehabilitation what can we do the physiotherapy speech therapy and occupational therapy now the problem list in parkinson disease are seen reduce the joint range impair muscle strength abnormal posture in parkinson patient the always you look like you look or notice the abnormal posture forward tilt impaired balance impaired gait and locomotion fatigue pain impaired aerobic capacity now the main role of rehabilitation here is the physiotherapy in physiotherapy the phys 
it helps to improve the improve the mobility improve the joint range improve the flexibility improve the strength improve the posture and improve the balance improve the gait speed improve the aerobic capacity improve the quality of life and reduce the fatigue and reduce the pain here is the physiotherapy exercises first one is the relaxation exercise in relaxation exercise the described the gentle rocking can be used to produce generalized relaxation of excessive muscle tension due to rigidity slow rhythmic rotational movement of the extremities and trunk can precipitate interventions such as range of motion stretching and functional training for example hook like hook line lower trunk rotation or side line ro rolling or upper and lower trunk segmental rotational can be used to be promote relaxation PNF technique of rhythmic initiation in which movement progress from passive to active assistive to lightly resistive or active movement was specifically designed to help overcome the effects of rigidity. Movement progress from passive to active assistive. Now the second exercise of physiotherapy is the flexibility exercise. Range of motion exercises, passive stretching, hold and contract, relax, passive positioning. The third one is the stretching exercises, strengthening exercise. Training during on periods when the patient is at the best. Force production. Force production during isokinetic contractions rather than the isometric contractions have been noted. Isometric training may be contraindicated. Exercise machines are safer than free weights. As the patient has difficulty to gain the free weights, so exercise machines are safer than free weights. Functional training and pool exercise are also effective. Now the functional training. Moving in bed, rolling and supine sit. Sideline rotation and weight bearing in sideline enhance transition to sitting. Pelvic tilt anterior posterior, side to side and pelvic color exercise in bar. Sit stand activities, standing training with rotations, training to get up after fall, facial exercises. The balance training. Balance training should be emphasized the practice of dynamic stability of task. For example, weight shifts, reaching, axial rotation of the head and trunk, axial rotation combined with the reaching and so forth. Seated activities can include sitting on a throbbing ball. Challenge, challenges to balance can introduce by varying of arm positions. For example, Arms out to side, arms folded across the chair. Varying foot leg position, for example, feet apart or feet together. Any voluntary movements, for example, arm clapping, arms overhead, single leg raises, head and trunk rotations. Movement transitions such as sit to stand 
or half kneeling to standing can also be used to challenge the postural control system. The patient can be instructed in standing exercise to enhance the balance, including heel rises, toy offs, partial wall squats, chair rises. Locomotive training, lengthening stride, broadened base of support, improve heel to get better, increase speed, increase trunk rotation and arm swing. Using visual and auditory cues to improve attention during a movement task. Gate training uses a overhead. Hams is also adjusted upright posture. The, ha the hams is eliminated the need for patient with Parkinson's disease. Combined use of hams and tread will increase both walking speed and stride length. Walking toward a mirror allows use of visual feedback to maintain upright front. PNF activity of threading. Sides, side stepping with alternate cross stepping is an ideal training activity for the patient with Parkinson's disease because it emphasizes lower trunk rotation with stepping and side stepping movements. Two stick can be used for held by patient and therapist, one in each hand can be used to facilitate reciprocal arm swing during gait. Verbal cues to normalize slip, step length, velocity and arm swing, exuation, include walk fast, take large steps and walk while swinging for arms. Postural intervention, exercise to strengthen postural extension, stretching exercise for tight pectorals, rotational exercise of the trunk and limbs, rhythmic innovation, functional task training, postural correction using feedback mechanism. There is a cardiopulmonary training. Diaphragmatic breathing exercise and exercise that your neck, shoulder, and trunk muscles. Deep breathing exercises to improve chest wall mobility and vital cap capacity. Aerobic training and aerobic pool program are also useful. Now the fatigue management. Fatigue can be the cause or result of inactivity. Begin aerobic conditioning as soon as diagnosed Parkinson's disease is met. Speech and language therapy. It's a part of rehabilitation. Particular country. Particular con consideration should be given to improve of vocal loudness and pitch range. Ensuring an effective means of communication is maintained throughout the course of disease. Efficiency of swallowing minimize the risk of aspiration. Now, the occupational therapy, particular consideration should be given to maintenance of work and family roles home care and leisure activities, improvement and maintenance of transfer and mobility, improvement of personal self-care activities such as eating, drinking, washing, dressing, diet. The main role of diet is also included in Parkinson patient. There is uh, some described Diet should include high fiber food and plenty of water. 
in Parkinson's patient should have to diet high fiber food and plenty of water. When levodopa is introduced, excessive proteins are discouraged due to a combination between them to cross the blood brain barrier and intestine. So, to minimize the interaction with proteins, levodopa is recommended to be taken 30 minutes before meal. Here is the surgical management ablative surgery, peritotomy, and thalamotomy. Although peritotomy and thalatomy might still be performed in a selected patient, deep brain stimulation is currently the surgical treatment of choice in advance of Parkinson's disease. Deep brain, deep brain stimulation, neural transplantation, the surgical treatment for Parkinson's disease is currently considered in advanced patient when the optimized medical treatment has failed in treating motor symptoms such as motor fluctuations in or dyskinesia. Adoptive and supportive devices. Here you look some devices to help in Parkinson's daily activities like home, toothbrush, rest toilet, sink and toilet press, group and home exercise, low impact aerobics are an important focus for a group class, for example, marching in place in sitting and standing, Large high steps and use of music provides necessary stimulation to movement. Recreational activities follow an aerobic portion such as line dancing, ball activities, bean bag toss. This is home exercise for a patient. Thank you. I hope all of you getting some knowledge. I will send a pro feedback link in the groups so you have to fill this feedback. Thank you a lot. Thank you a lot for watching.